Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Please do check my Patreon down below. That's really helping me out a lot. We're getting to be a crowdfunded uh, YouTube channel. That's really, really nice. And thanks to everyone who's joining up for that. We also have an awesome giveaway coming up. You can win a Futon 2. But today we're going to talk about the Speedybee USB adapter and it has built-in Bluetooth on here. What does that mean? That means that you can use this little USB port on any flight controller out there. You can use their app that comes along with it. You can download the app for Android or iOS. I, I was told that it wouldn't work on Android, uh, but it does say here in the instructions that it actually does have a, a link for Android and an iOS on here. So there is a download page with links to the Google Play Store and the Apple Store right in the instructions. So that's really interesting because um, if it does work on both platforms, both phones, that would be great. There's a lot of people that have Android phones. Now it does say that this little guy has an input voltage from 3 to 6S. So you're going to power this little guy from this XT60 that they give you in the box. And you're going to need to solder that up yourself on the positive and negative terminals there. Plug this into your quad and you'll see a green light come on there and it's going to be flashing. When that green light stops flashing, it's connected to your phone. So turn on the Bluetooth on your phone and open up the SpeedyB app and you can fiddle with Betaflight. It's kind of amazing. I showed you that before with the flight controller that they released. And if you want built-in Bluetooth on a flight controller, this is the SpeedyB flight controller uh, that they released probably about a month ago now. And it has a lot of cool stuff in this box. It has the full schematic in here and you can go about setting this up on any new build. But this was really nice and seamless. All I did was turn on Bluetooth on my phone and I was connected to this within a matter of about 20 seconds uh, as quick as I could get over to the app. So this is a really neat flight controller and uh, this will work on just about any 5 inch race quad out there uh, or 3 inch if you have a 30.5 by 30.5 mounting stack. Now when you first get it out of the box it's going to look like this and I'll just bring it a little bit closer for you. You can see that negative terminal here, positive terminal there. I'm going to flip it over. You see the SpeedyB logo and your USB port and you can solder the wire to either side of this. It doesn't matter which side but you want to make sure you don't reverse those because you will fry your flight controller. And once you plug in a battery to this and plug in a battery to your quad, you're going to see three LEDs on the bottom right here. You can see them right here. And those are labeled red, blue, and green. And the red one is going to indicate the power, that you have power to it. The blue one is going to indicate that you have a USB connection to the quad, to the flight controller itself. And the green one is going to flash green, like I said before. And when you have a Bluetooth connection to the app, and it's connected to the app, it's going to go solid green. Now what I think is the coolest about this particular USB adapter with Bluetooth built-in is the fact that it doesn't have any kind of wonky UART serial setup on here. You don't have to go inside Betaflight and twiddle around with a lot of things to get that set up. All you have to do is plug this one into the flight controller's USB port and you're going to go ahead and plug in the battery here and you'll see that red light come on like I showed you earlier. Then you have a blue light as well. You don't see the green light yet because we don't have any type of Bluetooth connection. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the quad now and we're going to open up the SpeedyB app and according to the diagram we have everything right here so we have our 4S LiPo powered into that and it actually does have a voltage range of 9 to 26 volts so uh, quite a large voltage range. Now it says tap to start scanning so we're going to scan all the Bluetooth channels available so we see that SBBUA there with a series of numbers that is actually the little USB dongle there. So we're going to click on that and that's as quick as it takes. And now we're inside Betaflight on the phone. If you're at the field, this is really nice because um, you can do everything in here. I showed you guys a lot of this app before. The SpeedyB app is pretty good. Um, even on the flight controller, it has all the same settings. Now, one thing to note about this particular app is that it does not do firmware updates. So you couldn't do a total quad setup uh, from scratch because generally when I'm setting up a flight controller for a brand new build, the first thing I'm going to do is update the firmware and uh, flash the latest software on the flight controller that I'm going to set up. So uh, maybe in the future they will add something like that where you can update the firmware. That would be a really nice option. But for now we have everything else on here. It gives you all the same information up top here. And I'll just bring this in a little bit closer so you can see it. We're in the setup menu right there. You can scroll down 
And I showed you guys a lot of this before, so I won't go into it in too much detail, but you have your ports tab there, you have your configuration tab there, that's a full-blown configuration tab with everything normally in here that you would normally have inside Betaflight. And when you're all done, you can save and reboot. And check this out, it's actually going to go ahead and save and reboot. So now we can go down to power and battery, same thing there inside Betaflight. We have in the SpeedyB app, and most importantly, Guys, when you're pit tuning at the field, you don't need your laptop anymore. You can just use this app and you can play around with your proportional integral and derivative numbers. You can also change your super rates on the fly, which is really, really nice. Save and refresh options down at the bottom. You can also check out your channel maps. And I don't have my radio on right now, but normally you would see all these bars lit up and uh, the FR Sky channels would be there. So we have the modes tab as well, arms, angle mode, all that stuff. You can change that around. We have the Betaflight OSD screen, and this is great because I showed people this before, and you can drag, grab and drag things around on the screen, and you can save it at the very bottom there. That is just super cool and very, very easy to use. And to get out of the screen, you're just going to go down here, exit full screen, and it'll take you back to that. So, And the next one down, we have the motors tabs. We can actually go in here and test motors on this. This is a pretty nice setup here. And we have a full-blown CLI here. So if you need to do a dump or share your settings with a friend, or you want to just pass those on uh, via email or text, you can easily do that dump there. Uh, or you can check out what version you're on or any of the other info that you have in the CLI. So that's a really nice setup that we have everything here inside this app. Really, really nice. So I'll try to put the link down below so you guys can check out their flight controller with a built-in Bluetooth, or if you want to grab a few of these, these are really great to have in your field box. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep three or four of these available when I go out on my trips because I don't always have a laptop with me and now I don't have to leave the house with it. So uh, that's going to save me a lot of weight in my flight bag. So thanks again for watching the Drone Camps channel, guys. I'm Justin Davis and have a great week and I'll see you on the next review. Take care.